dignity. Let them wait and wait. Let them earn your trust. It's good to remain mysterious. Remember boundaries. From that word in action, very few people are entitled to know the real you. And into the Bible, Matthew 7 verse 6, do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you into pieces. Powerful words, aren't they? But it's useless if you can't apply them into your real life. Let this sentence sink into your mind for a second, please, before we reveal the seven things you should not tell to anybody. Not all people stay forever in life. So when you become strangers, he or she knows so much to destroy you. When we share something to someone, we get attached to them in some sense. This makes us weak and dependent. Listen carefully now as a student for the moment, because this are the seven secrets that you must not tell. Number one, your intentions. Keeping your intentions private is like planting seeds for your actions in a secret garden. When you conceal your intentions, it's akin to tending to those seeds in a hidden space where others can't interfere or pass judgment. Imagine your goals and aspirations as delicate sprouts that need protection and care. By not revealing your intentions, you create a safe environment to nurture them without external influence. This privacy grants you the freedom to cultivate and strengthen your aspirations without the pressures or opinions of those around you. It's about fostering a sense of autonomy, allowing your intentions to blossom organically before unveiling them to the world. This guarded approach provides a supportive cocoon for the growth of your dreams, shielding them from premature judgment and allowing you to shape them into resilient, well-rooted achievements. Now in stoic matter lies a profound wisdom in guarding one's intentions. Picture your aspirations as stoic virtues, quietly germinating in the garden of your mind. The Stoics' advocates of self-mastery understood the importance of shielding these seeds of purpose from external forces. By keeping your intentions private, you emulate the Stoic principle of maintaining inner tranquility amidst the chaos of the external world. It's a deliberate act of self-discipline, a Stoic exercise in fortitude, where the nurturing of your intentions becomes a personal journey. Just as a Stoic sage tempers their reactions to external events, you cultivate your intentions in the crucible of your consciousness, shielded from the capricious judgments of others. This Stoic approach fosters resilience, enabling you to forge intentions with unwavering strength before unveiling them to the world, embodying the Stoic ideal of virtuous self-possession. Number two, your personal goals. Revealing your dreams and aspirations may invite negativity and jealousy from others. External projections of fears and doubts can breed self-doubt and diminish motivation. Keeping your aspirations private is often the best course of action. Like maintaining the secrecy of your personal goals is pivotal. When you confide your aspirations to others, their perspectives and uncertainties have the potential to obscure your own clarity and impede your journey. The act of keeping your goals private serves as a protective shield against external influences that might divert your focus. Imagine your objectives as delicate flames and by safeguarding them within, you provide the optimal conditions for their This privacy cultivates a dedicated space where your undivided attention can be directed towards nurturing and realizing your ambitions. Shielding your goals from external scrutiny ensures that your vision remains pure, untainted by the skepticism or well-intentioned advice of others. This intentional privacy empowers you to forge ahead with unwavering commitment, fostering an environment where your goals can flourish independently, unburdened by external opinions, and allowing you to harness your full potential. Guarding your personal goals echoes the philosophy's emphasis on self-reliance and inner fortitude. Much like a stoic sage maintains tranquility amidst external chaos, keeping your aspirations private shields them from the opinions of the stoics recognize that external judgments could cloud one's vision and hinder progress. Secrecy around personal goals becomes a stoic exercise akin to the discipline of maintaining inner composure amid external influence by cultivating your objectives in the quiet recesses of your mind. 
you embody stoic principles of self-discipline and resilience. This deliberate privacy allows you to pursue your goals with undivided focus, free from the potential interference of external doubts. In embracing stoic teachings, you forge a path guided by your inner compass, fostering strength and clarity as you journey towards your aspirations independently. Number three, your charitable deeds. When engaging in acts of charity or kindness, it's crucial to keep them confidential. Genuine compassion arises from selflessness, devoid of a desire for acknowledgement or validation. Imagine these benevolent actions as quiet ripples in a pond. Their impact is most profound when undisturbed by the need for recognition. By safeguarding your charitable deeds in privacy, you maintain their intrinsic purity. This isn't about secrecy, but about ensuring that your altruism stems from a genuine place, untainted by external motives. In doing so, you embrace the beauty of humility, allowing your acts of kindness to resonate with sincerity rather than much like a seed flourishing in the shelter of soil. Your charitable deeds, when kept private, can grow authentically, fostering a sense of fulfillment that transcends external validation. In the Stoic tradition, the charity aligns with the virtue of benevolence. Much like safeguarding personal goals, practicing charitable deeds with discretion is a Stoic teaching. The Stoics emphasized performing acts of kindness with a selfless spirit, devoid of the desire for external recognition. When your charitable deeds remain private, you embody Stoic ideals by acting out of genuine compassion rather than seeking validation. This secrecy preserves the authenticity of your benevolent actions, ensuring they spring from a place of true by internalizing the Stoic principle of virtuous action for its own sake. You cultivate a sense of fulfillment independent of external praise. In embracing this Stoic perspective, you contribute to a world where acts of kindness are untainted by the need for acknowledgement, fostering a spirit of genuine goodwill. Number four your self-improvement and practice. Maintaining the privacy of your self-improvement endeavors is crucial, whether it be through meditation, martial arts, or any discipline. Broadcasting your training and progress, fueled by a need for approval or boasting, can divert your focus from the genuine essence of your practice. Self-improvement. Picture your efforts as seeds planted in the fertile soil of personal growth by keeping this cultivation private. You create an environment where the roots of your progress can deepen without the noise of external opinions. This deliberate confidentiality in your journey of self-betterment aligns with the core principle of mindfulness. It involves turning inward, focusing on the intrinsic value of your practice, rather than seeking external validation. Embracing this approach fosters a resilient commitment to improvement, free from the distractions of recognition and allows you to nurture the authentic growth of your inner self. The discretion in self-improvement practices mirrors a fundamental tenet, the pursuit of virtue for its intrinsic value. Whether engaged in meditation or martial arts, the Stoics would advocate for a silent dedication to personal development, free from the desire for external praise. Much like the Stoic sage ons their character in quiet reflection, your private commitment to self-improvement aligns with this ethos. Seeking approval or boasting about progress becomes a distraction, clouding the stoic pursuit of wisdom and moral. By keeping your training and practice concealed, you embody stoic resilience, focused on the internal transformation rather than the superficial acknowledgement of others. This philosophy encourages a steadfast commitment to self-betterment emphasizing the development of a virtuous character over the ephemeral approval of external spectators. Number five, your family affairs. Secrecy in family matters is crucial. Treat your family affairs as a sacred trust, safeguarding them from unnecessary interference and judgment by keeping them private. Imagine your family bond as a delicate flower and by preserving its intimacy, you allow it to flourish without external disruptions. Share only what is necessary, understanding that the sanctity of your family deserves protection. This discretion respects the uniqueness of your family dynamics and avoids the pitfalls of unwarranted opinions. Much like safeguarding personal goals, 
practicing privacy in family matters aligns with the value of maintaining a pure, undisturbed space for growth. By embracing this approach, you foster a secure environment for your family's well-being, ensuring that the intricacies of your familial relationships remain shielded from external scrutiny and interference. Personal problems are a common part of life, but it's crucial to be selective about whom you share them with. Opening up to individuals who lack the expertise to assist or tend to gossip can result in undue stress and negativity. The privacy of family affairs embodies a profound principle. Treat the matters within your family as a sacred realm shielded from unnecessary external influence. The Stoics emphasize the importance of maintaining inner tranquility, even in familial matters. Just as a Stoic sage would exercise self-control in the face of external events, your discretion in family affairs reflects this commitment to inner calm. Picture your family bond as a Stoic sanctuary where the sanctity of relationships is preserved through intentional privacy by refraining from sharing intimate details. You cultivate a Stoic virtue of resilience against external judgments. This approach aligns with the Stoic belief in focusing on what is within your control and letting go of what is not. Through the lens of Stoicism, the lesson becomes about upholding the sacred space of family dynamics, fostering harmony, and fortifying the bonds that matter most. Number six, your wealth and possessions. The management of your wealth and possessions holds a key lesson, maintain privacy. In the tapestry of Stoic philosophy, your financial affairs become a canvas for practicing discretion. Much like guarding personal goals or family matters, keeping the details of your wealth private aligns with Stoic principles. Picture your financial situation as a Stoic domain, shielded from unnecessary external scrutiny. The Stoics advocated for focusing on what is within your control, and discreet handling of wealth epitomizes this principle. By refraining from ostentation or sharing every financial detail, this approach underscores the Stoic wisdom of finding contentment within, irrespective of external possessions or opinions. In essence, the lesson lies in cultivating a Stoic mindset toward wealth, viewing it as a tool for a tranquil life rather than a source of external validation. Discussing your financial status is a delicate matter meant for trusted family friends, or professionals. Sharing such information with strangers or acquaintances can breed jealousy and envy. In the Stoic perspective, the stewardship of wealth and possessions imparts a crucial lesson. Preserve their privacy. Enveloped in the fabric of Stoic philosophy, the management of one's financial resources becomes a canvas for the exercise of discretion. Just as Stoicism advocates focusing on what is within our control, Maintaining a discreet approach to wealth aligns with this guiding principle. Picture your financial realm as a stoic sanctuary, shielded from undue external scrutiny and the fickleness of public opinion by eschewing the urge to flaunt or disclose every detail. You embody stoic resilience against the judgments of others. This stoic approach emphasizes that true contentment is found within, transcending the material aspects of wealth. It underscores the wisdom of viewing possessions as tools for a tranquil life, rather than as sources of external validation, embodying the stoic commitment to inner peace irrespective of external circumstances. Number seven, your spiritual beliefs. The sanctity of your spiritual experiences holds a valuable lesson. Keep them private. In the realm of personal beliefs, the wisdom lies in cherishing profound spiritual moments within the sanctuary of your heart. Sharing such experiences may risk misinterpretation, especially from those not on a similar path. Imagine your spiritual journey as a sacred space, and by holding these moments close, you cultivate a deeper connection with your beliefs. This approach aligns with the understanding that spiritual growth is a personal voyage. Much like safeguarding personal goals or family matters, keeping your spiritual experiences without the interference of external opinions, fostering a sense of connection and understanding that transcends the need for external validation. Spiritual beliefs are deeply personal and are best shared with open-minded and respectful individuals. Disclosing these beliefs to someone close-minded 
can risk conflict and disrespect. The privacy of your spiritual experiences imparts a profound lesson. Treat these moments as sacred and keep them within, aligning with the Stoic principle of internal focus. Picture your spiritual journey as a Stoic sanctuary, shielding these profound encounters from external interpretations. Stoicism encourages cherishing such experiences within the realm of your own heart, acknowledging that the path of spiritual growth is a personal odyssey. Much like the Stoic sage would guard their inner tranquility, you safeguard your spiritual insights from potential misunderstandings. This Stoic approach emphasizes that spiritual progress is an individual endeavor requiring internal reflection. By keeping these experiences to yourself, you embody the Stoic ideal of finding contentment within, free from external judgments, allowing your spiritual journey to unfold with integrity and resilience. Remember, sharing binds us to others, creating a form of attachment that can weaken and make us dependent. From my own encounters, I've learned in today's harsh reality, it's unwise to openly express feelings. Shared thoughts tend to disseminate swiftly, akin to the way air spreads. In conclusion, I advocate embracing solitude, considering it the finest companionship. Cultivate independence and strength to ensure lasting happiness 